Heat shock protein is a valuable target for anti-cancer therapies. The heat shock proteins serve as chaperone proteins that allow for growth factors within cancer cells to live as well as other proteins that allow the cancer cells to not undergo apoptosis and to have uh, proteins inside them that allow them to continue to replicate. By blocking heat shock protein, potentially we can stop this mechanism of action of growth of cancer cells. We've also seen some data that blocking heat shock protein in combination with cytotoxic chemotherapy may also improve outcomes. This year at GI ASCO, there was a phase one study that was reported where we looked at capecitabine plus heat shock protein inhibitor AUY922. This uh, trial enrolled all patient populations for whom capecitabine could be promising. For this study, interestingly enough, we saw four partial responses, uh, two in colon cancer, one in pancreatic cancer, and one in breast cancer. Interestingly, two of the partial responses for those patients, they were previously refractory to fluorouracil, suggesting that potentially heat shock protein 90 inhibition may help reverse the effects of, uh, in, of uh, chemotherapy resistance. This is all very preliminary in a phase one study, but certainly promising, and we, we are hoping to take this regimen forward into further study.